Hey guys, Jason here in my garage. Um, just a quick and impromptu video, not scripted, so I'm probably gonna say um and uh quite a bit like I'm known to do, but this is just like a list of all the things that I can think of, like the top 10 or 12 or whatever things that I absolutely cannot live without when I'm in here in my garage. I wanna give you guys some ideas of things, especially with the holiday season, Black Friday, and all that stuff going on right now as I make this, that uh, if you wanna check out, maybe you could use them for your garage as well. So hopefully you guys will find this useful, and then I'll be back with my uh, regular product reviews and how-tos and garage stuff and everything else. So check out this list that I made and uh, tell me what you think of it. Okay, let's kick this off with one that anybody who has ever worked on a car in the history of mankind knows about, and that is the 10 millimeter socket. 10 millimeter is the most common fastener size on cars, and everybody loses these as a result. I find myself grabbing extra ones when I'm at the auto parts store, because I know that I'm gonna need one just after I lose it, and then I'm gonna probably run out and buy another one, and then after I finish whatever it was I was working on, and then I clean up, I'm gonna find the first one, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna lose them all anyway. So I saw that Amazon actually sells them in huge packs of like 26, so that'll save me 26 stores to the uh, 26 trips to the auto parts store, and I think I'm gonna be buying myself that kit for Christmas. So check that out, especially if you're working on cars a lot in the garage. And then there's omni wall panels. Now for my garage, these are still one of the best things I've ever done for it. These things are made in the USA. I did an entire video on it, you should check it out. I just, I just absolutely love these things because the storage options are endless, man, and the organization is phenomenal. I reach for something on this every time I'm out here in the garage. Check out OmniWall, man. And uh, also, you can get a $20 coupon towards your first purchase for this sort of thing. Um, just hit the links below. And uh, of course, like I said, see the other video that I made about these. I love these things. I think they're the best wall organization system out there. You're probably not gonna expect this one, but these scissors. These things are like the samurai sword of scissors. I mean, I've got different kinds of scissors in my garage, heavy duty ones and regular everyday ones, but these I find myself reaching for the most. They're really inexpensive. They're only $14, but they're made by the original company in China that's over 350 years old. And don't discount them for being made in China like a lot of things you might, um, because they might be inexpensive, but they definitely aren't very cheap quality. They're super sharp. They are very, very durable, and they're made the same way that they were over 350 years ago. You might see these copied a lot, but they come with a sheet of paper that explains the history behind them. They're very, very precise. The, the tip is extremely sharp. I've actually used this to scribe things because it almost feels like the tip of like a utility knife blade. They're, uh, the tolerance is extremely tight on them. And overall, they just do a great job for what it's worth being scissors. I've used them for obvious cutting things, but I've also used them to open boxes and make precision cuts. I think the only thing you gotta worry about is you can see right there that they do corrode easily. So you gotta keep them lubricated uh, with some anti-corrosion stuff on them. But these things are absolutely phenomenal for scissors for the price. Definitely check them out. This is a Brownline Metalworks digital torque wrench, and I've had this for probably about 10 years, and you can tell it's pretty dirty. Uh, I use, I've used the crap out of it, and it's held up great. I want to show you some of the features on this one. So as you can see, it's got a, uh, it's got a backlit digital display, and what you can do is you can enter the, the desired torque memory that you want it to be, and then it'll display in real time the exact amount of torque being applied when you're you're working on something and it also has these audible and visual signals like there's a there's a buzzer right there in the speaker and there's the the series of lights red uh, yellow and green and as you approach your target torque it'll go from green to yellow then to red and then it'll beep letting you know that you've hit your target torque and then after you're done it also shows you the peak uh torque display that uh, the, your highest torque value that you applied so you know exactly how much torque you used so that way you don't have to guess to if, if you overshot it by by mistake or anything and it's really really accurate too it's got a double gear sensing system technology called dgss and i believe it's patented it's actually got an 8-bit microprocessor inside so it uh it's it's really really accurate and you know like a click style torque wrench you don't have to make any adjustments or turn it down before you put it away which is one of the reasons why torque wrenches go out of calibration you don't need to do that it's it's fully contained there's no adjustments except what you make here using the buttons and on the screen and you can also uh convert to uh, newton meters pound feet inch pounds so you can use it for 
putting on you know wheel lug nuts. You can use it for building engines. In fact, one of my buddies built a very high horsepower engine using this very torque wrench a few years ago and said it was one of the better torque wrenches he's ever used. You can spend a lot of money on a torque wrench. You could spend a little bit of money on a torque wrench. But so far, this one is right in the middle of price. But it's awesome to have this digital readout, the memory, the warning when you hit your peak torque. This is a great one. If you need a torque wrench, check this out. Something else that I can't live without are these race ramps, especially when you get a car like that that's really, really low in the front. This is uh, the 72-inch two-stage incline race ramp, which is really cool because, you know, it's, it's so long, it's easy to get a lowered car up there. But what I like about it is this part is removable, so then you can crawl under the car a little bit easier, and then when you want to back the car down, obviously you put it back on. I love these things because the quality is great. They're super lightweight. They're not heavy and awkward like metal ramps. If you've got a lowered car, these are these you can't live without these, and uh, I really like these a lot. These are grip mats if you've never seen them before. These are one of those things that the longer you own, the more you use, and I find myself using them all the time. That's probably why they're pretty dirty right now. It's another one that I actually made a dedicated video about, which I'll link to. These were invented by a guy in the National Guard that worked on aircraft, and um, it helped him out so much that it made its way to Shark Tank. And then when I saw him at the SEMA show in Las Vegas in 2019, I knew I could use them here in the garage, and I do use these constantly. They are flexible, they are tough, they are heat resistant, chemical resistant, they got a lifetime warranty. And what you, you use them for is just about to keep anything from getting lost, like that 10 millimeter socket that I mentioned before. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll come out to the garage when I need some tools, and I'll just throw the tools right in here, like uh, I'll use those scissors and, that I mentioned, and have on another pair of scissors and, a, and an ink pen, and then I just, I just fold them up and I take them inside to work on whatever it is that I gotta work on in the house. They're imitated a lot now. You can tell how good a quality product is when you start to see knockoffs. There's a lot of knockoffs out there, but this is the original grip mat. You, they're indispensable in keeping organized. I actually rebuilt a small carburetor right on this. I love these things. I use them constantly. Now, I know those grip mats were pretty dirty. What I should clean do is clean them, which I usually do. When I do clean them or just buy anything else, I've used Simple Green for a long time. Now, this isn't the normal green Simple Green. This is actually aircraft and precision cleaner, which you can also get. I don't think too many people know about this because they're just familiar with the green stuff. What I like about this is that it's actually um, it's safe, it's non-corrosive, it's clear, and it doesn't smell like Simple Green. I know a lot of people don't like the original Simple Green smell for some reason. So I switched over to using this, and I buy it in the big old gallon jugs because then I can mix it because it's concentrated. I can mix it in a spray bottle to whatever strength I want to. And I I really just trust this a little bit more just because again it's not green it's clear and uh, it meets Boeing specs and it's just I think it's safer overall for uh, things like uh, things on the car I use it to clean firearms um, I just I just rely on this a little bit better than the green stuff so if you haven't tried the aircraft or precision cleaner give it a try and again I recommend getting in the gallon jug if you plan on using any uh, a bunch of it because it's just a lot more economical that way Sometimes I'll also uh, grab tubble towels. I keep these on hand as well when I don't have the time, if I got a mess that I need to clean up real quick. I did a video about tubble towels a long time ago, and I still use these almost every time I'm out in the garage. What I like about them is, uh, is the texture. You know, first of all, they're just quick and easy to grab. Throw them in the car, especially if you're going to go somewhere and you don't want to carry around a spray bottle and a microfiber cloth or anything. But the texture on these things are, is really something else. I don't know quite what it is about them. And whatever the solvent is on this, or whatever, it's not exactly solvent, but whatever the, the liquid is on this that's for cleaners, it does pretty good for just being like a, a, a pop-up wipe. It's got uh, some sort of property where, like I've, I've actually used it on to remove adhesives and grease and things like that. I really haven't found anything else on a, on a pop-up wipe here that, at industrial level that does the same job as tubbo towels. Something else that I'm always reaching for are these LED headlamps. Now, not to be confused with LED headlights like I'm always testing and reviewing, but here's the thing that's great about these, especially when you're working on something you need two hands instead of trying to hold you know, a normal flashlight with, with one hand while you're working with a left or even worse, hold, trying to hold one of these things in your teeth. I just throw one of these things on my head, and they're great. Now, I found this company called Foxelli, and they're normally kind of like a camping and outdoor gear company, but I came across these on Amazon. I thought I'd give them a try, and they're phenomenal for the money they're 20 bucks a piece and as you can see there's two different styles but what i love about these things is that they're super bright and um they got different modes and even you know sos and uh you can even 
uh, charge them via USB. So this one's obviously got, you know, uh, like a spotlight type of thing. Oops, hold on, let me turn that off. There we go. You know, spotlight type thing with different powers, including SOS. Um, but then there's also this one here, which is really unique. It's actually more of a flood type of light, and it's got um, different powers as well. And this is for when you want to illuminate a wider area instead of a spotlight. And again, $20, USB rechargeable, and really, really high quality for what you get. These things are really awesome. If you need a new headlamp and you're on a budget, give these a try, man. I'm really glad I took a chance on them. Gladiator cabinets. This is a side of my garage that you don't see often because usually the camera is pointing the opposite way. But these are above my workbench, and I absolutely love these cabinets. In fact, you can see I decorated with them, them with some of my favorite stuff. So... Gladiator cabinets, they're expensive, but they're worth it. They're super durable. The quality is great, and the storage options are killer. I absolutely love these things. Save up for these if you need to, um, because they're, they're worth it. They do make like the, the kind that are, um, you, you put them together yourself, they're a little bit more affordable, or the kind that are pre-welded. Either way, whatever your budget can afford, get some of these things, because for storage, you can't beat them, and they just look awesome in a garage. All right, last up, probably saw this coming, Armor Shield. Now, I love making videos about Armor Shield just because the stuff works and I'm finding new things to use it for. I mean, I've been using it on my car paint surfaces for over two and a half years now. And uh, the reason why I like it so much is it just works and I use it on more than that. I've done videos, a lot of videos about it, but I've also done videos about how to use it on wheels. Um, I've used it on headlights, taillights, glass, you name it. But I've also used it on other things like uh, my, uh, my iPhone screen or my Apple Watch screen or my GoPro lens or... Heck, I've used it on my shower door. I've used it on solar panels to keep them from getting all crudded up. The stuff works great. Ceramic coating overall is just pretty cool stuff to use. But what I like about Armor Shield, it's pretty affordable. I mean, you can save $25 off your order using my coupon code Jason's Garage 25 and uh, that'll put it under the $50 mark for an application. And one bottle will treat at least one medium to large size vehicle paint surface, and then you should usually have some left over. But... Um, for the holidays here in November of 2020, from was it November 26th, a couple of days ago, uh, before I release this anyway, until uh, Monday the 30th of November, they're having a huge like Black Friday weekend blowout, and uh, depending on how much you buy, it can be up to 50% off. So if you miss out on this, you, again, you could still use my coupon code Jason's Garage 25, get $25 off your order. This is a killer stocking stuffer, by the way. You can buy some for yourself, or uh, send this video to someone who keeps wanting to know what you want for Christmas. Tell them you want some Armor Shield. Tell them to use my coupon code. Use the link, of course, below. That'll take you right to it. And uh, let me know how this stuff works out. I love this stuff. I use it on just about everything I can. So check it out. And here's an honorable mention um, that I think that every garage needs, no matter what. And that's uh, safety equipment. Uh, I'm talking about work gloves. I like mechanics gloves a lot. They're pretty cool. And then also uh, safety eyewear. I've, I've had these things, gosh, I've had these things for over 10 years, and I just like a lot of things in this video, I beat the snot out of them. They're made by a company, these safety glasses are made by a company called Bomber, and they're really comfortable. They don't make you look like a complete dork, and they do their job. In fact, I got another pair, um, a dark pair, that I use for when I'm outside. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's some chips there, some scratches, so these things have protected my eyesight already, and they're well worth the price. I don't think they make this, these style, the style anymore, because I've had these so long, but... If you need to uh, get some safety glasses, check out these by Bomber. I really like these a lot. They're super comfortable. I forget that I'm wearing them. The way that I see it is that uh, if, if you're wearing safety glasses that are comfortable and don't make you look like a complete idiot, <laughs> you're more apt to wear them, and that means you're more apt to protecting your eyesight. And then I also protect my hearing, especially you know for loud noises in the, in the garage or wherever I'm at. I just bought a big old box, like a box of 100 of these things, like a dispenser-style box. And I keep it here in the garage, and whenever I need some, I just grab them and throw them in, and that way I'm protecting my hearing because my hearing is actually a little bit damaged from loud noises over the years, including uh, super loud concerts and things like that. So I wish that I had neglected my my safety in, in when I was younger. So take it from old man Jason. Uh, grab some of these there here and, and use them whenever you need to and, and just uh, don't forget because otherwise once if you can't use your hands or you can't see or can't hear you're screwed and you can't have more fun in your garage and play with your cars honorable, another honorable mention is of course my corvette i make a lot of videos about this this car is so much fun i'm so glad that i got it 600 horsepower on tap is just unbelievable especially instant torque naturally aspirated this thing's a beast it's a blast of a car 
and uh I love making videos about this. In fact, I got a lot more videos that are waiting in the wings for it. So if you follow my channel because of my Corvette stuff, stay tuned because I've always got more stuff coming.